Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can run your Jenkins job remotely by making an API request. There are cases when you need to run or trigger your Jenkins job remotely, mostly through script. So in that case, we need a solution so that we can trigger the Jenkins job remotely. And for that, we can use Jenkins API to run the build as and when required. We can integrate the API request into our script so that Jenkins job will get triggered the moment we make an API request. So we'll see how we can create a job which can be triggered remotely through an API. And then we'll see what all information is required to make that API request. Here you can see that I have one job created, Jenkins API demo. Now I'm going to configure this job for remote execution. So first of all, what we need to do is in Jenkins dashboard, click here on the username. And then you can choose the configure options from the list. Then in the configuration, you can see this field for API token. And under this, currently we do not have any registered token for this user. So first of all, we need to create a token. And using that token only, we can trigger the job remotely. Because when we are going to make an API request, then there is an authorization also required. And then this token, which I'm going to create here, will act as authorization for us. Now to add the token, I'm going to click on this button here. And then I'll provide the token name. Let's say API token. I'm naming this as API token, but you can provide any name, whatever you like. And then click on generate. Now you can see that this is the token value you have to copy this token value because you'll browse this page again, then you won't be able to see this token value. And in case you forget the token value, then you have to recreate a token again. So I'll copy this token and I'll put it somewhere else so that we can reuse it later. Let me save the changes and let's go back to the dashboard. Now, what we need to do is I'll go to this job, Jenkins API demo. I have created a very basic job only for the demo purpose where it execute a PowerShell script to print something into the console. And we'll see how we can trigger this job through an API. This is the only line of code which is gonna execute when we'll run this build. Now let me move to the build trigger section. Here you can see one checkbox for trigger build remotely. To enable the job to run remotely, we have to check this checkbox and then provide the token name which we have just created. So the token which I have created was an API token. This is the same token name which we have just created at the configuration page. And now this is the URL of the job which we can use when making an API request. I'm gonna copy this URL. So the job has been configured for remote execution. We have created a token and then added that token into the Jenkins shop so that we can trigger it remotely by making an API request. Now to test it, I'll move to the postman. And then here, I'm going to add a new request. The request method should be post. And then we have to provide the URL over here. I'll paste the URL which I copied from the Jenkins build. This is the URL, but here we have to replace the Jenkins with the server IP. So I'm going to copy the Jenkins server IP. In your case, it might be a different server where Jenkins is running. 
So you have to provide the details of that server over here. Here, I can remove this token name. Now, let's say if I'm gonna hit this API right now, so what will happen? Let's click on the send. Here you can see that it throws an error that there is no valid crumb included in the request, which actually means there is no authorization added in the request because we have not provided any authorization in this API request. So to provide the authorization info, what we need to do is let's move to the authorization tab. And here I'm gonna add a basic authorization option. And for that, what we need is username and password. Here, the username will be the Jenkins username who has access to the job which we have created. So I'll pass the username as maximum automation. And in case of password, the password would be the token which we have generated at Jenkins configuration page for the user maximum automation. That token value will become our password for the basic authorization. Let me copy the token value and then I'm going to paste it over here. And now if I click on send, this time you can see that the status is 201, which means the request has been created successfully. And to verify it, let's move to the Jenkins job. Here we can see that the job has been triggered and this is currently running. Now let's move to the console output. Here in the console, we can see the PowerShell script got executed and the message has been printed into the console, which is executed successfully through API. So the job status is also successful. And if I go back to the job, then you can see the current job which we have triggered through an API has been successfully completed. So this is how you can run your Jenkins job remotely through an API request. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.